I'm Andre Cacciatorian of Nesson.com along with Matt Perino of UFC.com who's in Toronto, Ontario for UFC 206. Matt, is that Lake Ontario I see behind you right now? It is, and it's bringing extra frigid temperatures, and I'm not liking it, but I am loving the hot fight card at Air Canada Center this Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a great one. Main event, obviously, uh, between Max Holloway and Anthony Pettis, but aside from that main event, uh, Matt, which fight are you looking forward to seeing on the main card? I'm going to go with uh, Cub Swanson, featherweight veteran against the featherweight super prospect, the Korean super boy, Doohoo Choi. This guy has taken the division by storm. He has three straight knockouts, and that's those only three fights in the UFC, and he's going up against Cub Swanson, who has been, for about a decade, in WEC before the UFC, and then you know in the UFC ranks, pretty dominant, a guy that's good everywhere it goes, but he even spoke about it today. At media day, Cub Swanson's very impressed with Choi's technique, timing, and speed, and the power at 145 pounds. That's what makes that Conor McGregor character so popular. Yeah, and you look at Choi, none of his fights at, in the UFC level have lasted for more than three minutes, so that's pretty impressive. He can really uh, pack a punch and maybe finish this one quickly. The fight I'm looking for, most forward to seeing is, uh, speaking of fast-rising prospects, um, Emil Meek against Jordan Mean. Uh, Meek, Norwegian, kind of reminds me of Conor McGregor in terms of his persona. He's, he's like a modern-day Viking. His Facebook page with all his pictures holding a, uh, like a Viking sword or whatnot. Uh, he comes and is making his UFC debut. I really, I'm really interested to see what he does. Um, he's, in his eight wins, seven of them have been knockouts. He's like a big striker too, so I'm excited to see what he does against me. Maybe he's like the next McGregor, the Norwegian McGregor. Who knows? We'll see. All right, Matt, you'll be covering the fight from Toronto, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, for all your UFC coverage, keep it on UFC.com or Nesson.com.